Okay, here's the Kudu. Here's the Kudu light. We're gonna compare these a little bit. I should've done this a while ago. It kind of slipped my mind, but this one came in and for a piff, and I've had this one for a while. I ordered, ordered these by a lot. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. This is not just a review. This is not just a comparison. This is an announcement for cool stuff coming up. So stick around. Let's get into this. Okay, so this is the Kudu. Everybody knows the Kudu. It's based on a knife from Africa. It's actually a kind of got a negative connotation to it over there as like a gang knife, like a street gang kind of knife. But this is a great knife. This is a great, great knife. Inexpensive. Now this is the Kudu Light. This is the first Kudu Light I've actually held. Let's get these out. The same exact knife, basically, except for the locking mechanism. And this is gonna really come down to what you're looking for in your knife. But I don't think it's gonna really, I haven't tested it out, so I don't know for sure. I don't think it's gonna really affect the usefulness of either knife as far as this one not having a lock. Now this one is kind of a ratchet, ratchet open knife. And then it has, what is that? What is that buck that kind of has that clip thing? This is kind of like the lock on the AD15 where it's kind of pulled, the lock locking in part is exposed right there. And then you just pull on this ring and it closes real easily. There's a buck, what is it, the marksman? No, it's not the marksman, it's the other one. Anyways, maybe it is the marksman. Check that out. Really cool, really light in hand. Now, I have tested this one before, and it is a very secure lock and very, very stabby. Well, I hate to use stabby. With, you know, the connotations that comes up with that overseas. And then this one, same exact knife. So this one is basically just a slip joint. I'm not going to do rough ride roulette with this because... Oh, Man, that slipped. And they don't want me to. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is a very secure slip joint with the head stop on. <laughs> so this is basically a slip joint. But the thing is, I'm gonna test this real quick just to see how tough of a slip joint is. So this one you know is locked in. You can be doing stuff with this, cutting and you know stabbing beef or whatever you're gonna do. Maybe going after this fellow with the horns here. Wasn't there a smaller one, the Elon or something? Was the Elon bigger? I don't remember. There was one that was the same kind of knife. I think it was smaller. And then there's this one. This is the Kudu Light. So let's see. Let's see what kind of thing we can beat on here. Just more like a something we can kind of whack down on this thing to see if that blade's that lock. I'm gonna hold it back here just in case. I don't, see look, you're gonna hit that. You're working, maybe come up too hard on that thing. It's not coming up, see? This is really secure. So that lock may be a little bit overkill as far as what you need this for. I'm pressing that pretty hard on that. See, you can, even when you shut it, it's still going to come back like that on you. So that's a really solid slip joint. I don't have any qualms about recommending this as an EDC or a work knife. Just because how many times are you going to be pulling on something this way and it's going to come down past that. It's really locked in. It's really good. Now, is it secure as this knife? No. This thing's a beast. Let's, uh, let's beat the mess out of this one. I know I beat the mess out of this before. But let's do a little bit here. All right, you can see that, right? Yeah, this is just a hammer. This ain't going anywhere. This thing is just, until those rivets pull out of there, you're good to go with this thing. Now, if I had to, to take one, I would take this one, but I'm a big nut about locks, and I just like them. I like secondary locks on button lock knives and different knives that people don't like their locks on. So, it's the same exact knife, same exact steel on these things. You can check it out right here. Let's look at them side to side here. So, four and a quarter inches, 5CR15 MOV. You know, it's not gonna be a super hard use knife, but it will be effective for different things. Two millimeters, everything exactly the same, except for that ring lock is not the same on the Kudu Light.
So you got that ratchet there and you got that lock there, the slip joint, not a lock. Now you do have kind of a, what do you call it? Not a gravity lock, but a friction lock, friction folder, friction folder kind of thing there. A little bit, gives you a little bit extra with your thumb there on this little spring load, the like backstop thing here. So you got a little bit, it's not gonna give you a whole lot of strength, but enough that it will, it's gonna stop you know, some of that spring, spring back. I like it. I like it for the price you're gonna get these for. We're gonna go ahead, you're gonna go ahead and get these. I got bought these for, there's a guy in my church that was getting married and all his groomsmen need knives and I didn't have enough money to buy a ton of knives so I just bought all 10 of them, one of these and they were happy with it. This is a cool knife. It's useful, sticks in your pocket, it's super light. It's huge, but it's super light. I mean, look how many ounces it is. 2.7 ounces, that's crazy for a four, four and a quarter inch blade. Do you have this knife? What do you think about it? Have you used it? I just, let me see if I got any cardboard around here. I do I don't want to use that cardboard. I feel bad about using the cardboard that is given to me by the post office. I'm gonna just tear this off. No, I'm not gonna tear that off. That tore the wrong way. All right, let me find something here. How about this one? Let's just dump all that out. Let's see if we can't use this. All right, let me use this here. All right, just a little piece, just to show you what I'm talking about here. See, that is so easy. Gives you a lot of leverage on that handle, and it's man, it's really super slicey. If you're using this out, I mean, like cut food or. It's really, it's a super easy knife. It's not putting anything on my wrist. It's not putting a lot in my fingers. It's just really useful and very slicey. And I imagine the same thing with this one, being that it is the same kind of knife. So there you go. All right. Here we go. This is the extra part. I've been told not to do this. I've been advised by my advisors. You're doing too much this month. Maybe so. I may be so overwhelmed my rest of my hair is going to fall out. And there's not many left, but they might fall out. My beard might go gray. I don't know. But here's the deal. 2020 has been kind of a rough year. So let's end it with a huge deal. We got, we're going to have 400 boxes of Pithmas going out. We're going to have the Ho-Ho giveaway. We got another giveaway over on Facebook. I'm going to do, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? 20 straight days of giveaways. <sighs> no, it can't be done. It can be done. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to tell you which videos, but any video I make between now and Christmas is going to be a possibility to have a comment on 20 straight of these. Should I, do, should I do it like that? Yeah, just in case I don't do a video a day. So 20 straight, I'm gonna pull, so it, go down and comment on this video. This might be, this is definitely gonna be for one. So I ordered 10 of these and 10 of these, and they're gonna be coming in, and I'm gonna be giving away one a day until Christmas, and then of course Christmas is the ho-ho giveaway, but that doesn't count, that's not this. This is something totally different. This ain't Pithmas, this is not that either. This ain't the giveaway we're doing for the other guy's channel, we're not doing that. This is something totally different. This is because 2020 has been really kind of, on, uh, not ornery, it has been ornery. You've been an ornery year, sir. You get no pudding. No, it's been just kind of a rough year. And it's been a rough year for other people. And I don't think that getting a kudu is gonna make up for it, but maybe it'll make the end of your year just a little bit better to know that I want your year to be better. And a lot of people on this channel want your year to be better. and. If you're having a tough time, we hope you're recovering and we hope that this helps a little bit. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this kudu, kudu light giveaway. I'm not sure which one you're gonna get. It's gonna be one of these two. Of course, you're gonna get stickers and lollipops and all that good stuff too. So, we did a little bit of 60 days in a row giveaways. Man, it seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Back in April, it's April and March and stuff. So we did that. Now we're going to do 20 more days in a row here, and hopefully it'll cheer some people up and just make them realize that, you know, even just 
this is a little bit of a community and we think about each other. I'm definitely thinking about you, not you. You know you. Quit looking at me. All right, talk to your mom. Okay, so that's it. Just leave a comment. Leave a comment here. Next video, leave a comment there. I might pull two from this one. I don't know. Just, I'll tell you what, though. If I pull, it's going to be from the latest video. How's that sound? That's what I'll do. So I'm going to pull this one. If I don't make a video for three days, I'm going to have to pull from this one again. So leave your comment there. One comment a piece. One comment. You, one comment might enter you for three days. It might enter you for one. You got to keep up. I think that's it. I really like these knives. Seriously, these are awesome kind of stocking stuffer knives. You know, for what they cost, you can just throw a couple in for the cousins, you know, the ones that you don't like. But don't give the ones to the violent ones. You don't want to give sharp, pointy things to the violent ones. Give them lollipops. Give the smaller, meeker ones these so they can defend themselves from the lollipop guild. I think that's it. All right. That's it. <laughs> I don't want to stop talking, but I will. I'll talk to you later.